Have you ever wondered why people's faces look so different around the world? I'm not just talking about hair or eye color, but things like nose shape, cheekbones, or even eyelids. Turns out those differences are more than just random. They tell a story millions of years in the making. Let's start way back when humans first began spreading out from Africa. Our ancestors faced wildly different climates, freezing tundras, humid jungles, and blazing hot deserts. And over thousands of generations, our faces started to adapt to help us survive. Take noses, for example. If you live in a cold, dry place, like Northern Europe, you're more likely to have a tall, narrow nose. That's not just a coincidence. Narrow noses help warm and humidify the air before it hits your lungs, making life in cold climates a little easier. But if you're from a hot, humid region, like West Africa or Southeast Asia, you'll often see wider, flatter noses. Those help you breathe more easily in warm, moist air. It's evolution in action right on your face. And it's not just noses. High cheekbones? In parts of East Asia and the Arctic, those help keep your face warm and reduce frostbite by supporting more fat tissue. And eyelids? Ever notice that some people have an extra fold called an epicanthic fold? Scientists think it might have evolved to protect eyes from cold winds and bright sunlight, especially in snowy or sandy environments. Even skin color plays a part. Closer to the equator, people have more melanin, which protects against intense sunlight. Further north or south, lighter skin helps absorb more vitamin D from weaker sun. It's all about balancing the hazards and resources of where you live. But here's the coolest part. Every feature tells a story about survival. Your ancestors braved ice ages, deserts, and jungles, and each tiny change helped them thrive. So when you look in the mirror, or at your friends' faces, you're not just seeing random features. You're looking at a living record of your family's journey across the planet. And today, as people move and mix more than ever before, those features are blending in new ways. Our faces still change over time, shaped by the world and the choices we make. So the next time you notice something unique about your face, remember, it's not just genetics. It's history, adaptation, and a story that started thousands of years ago. Who knows what our faces will look like in another 10,000 years?